Oops. All right, so my morning routine, I've, I've gotten into a little bit of a morning routine during this. Good. I will usually stay in bed until the stock market opens at 9.30. I wow. know it's like technically 9, but like 9.30 is when the action starts happening in my app. So I'll look. I see. I'm like, okay, like this is a good start today, bad start today, whatever. Then I'll get up. In New York City, I have been buying my coffee every morning, mm. which is getting a little expensive. Adds up, dude. I'm only going to be here for a couple weeks. I have no problem with that, like whatever. But it ends up being like $6. Sure does. Which is a lot. But I've been drinking a rum-infused cold brew. Oh it my doesn't have any alcohol in God. it. God. It's boiled off or whatever. Where are you getting this? At this place called, I think it's called 787. It's this Puerto Rican, it's called Puerto Rican coffee or whatever. It's on uh, 6th Street and 2nd Avenue wow. in New York City. It's fantastic. Um, the first time I've ever like known the people working at a place. Mm-hmm. And uh, rum-infused cold brew. They also have mint-infused cold brew. Jesus. And it's delicious. Do you um, have CBD cold brew? I haven't really. CBD makes me like really dehydrated. It doesn't and do doesn't, anything for me. I don't like the way it feels. Yeah. Um, but that's it. That's pretty much the entirety of my morning routine. Thanks, nice. Connor. Okay. Um, but yeah. Does that, what time do you wake up? 8.30, 8. So you're in bed for an hour, hour and a half. I'll sit around and fuck around on my phone for an hour. See, dude, that is just... And I don't mean to judge because I've, I've done that. I really try to avoid that. To sitting in bed, it just it just you can lose so much time fucking very around true. on your phone. It's very true. And I've been trying to keep my daily screen time below three hours. You're very good at it. From I am. I it's last week's average was two hours and forty two minutes. I had both weekend days. It was like one hour and ten minutes. Wow. And uh, I think it's easier when you're you know up in Maine or whatever. But um, one of the easiest ways to try to cut back on your screen time is to not allow yourself to do that to extend that bed phone fuck around time there's that is where i lose so much time dude i feel you so to play a devil's advocate with that i don't like what if i don't care about my screen time? well then you have to think about how much time of your day are you wasting in bed right if you didn't have your phone would you just lie around with your thoughts for an hour and a half I don't know, like, I feel that that's an early, like, I'm used to starting my day later, like, before COVID, so now I feel like since I'm up early, it doesn't bother me. I try to look at the the bed as a, as a recharging station. Right. So if I'm in there, I should either be sleeping, or reading, or doing something positive. That's recharging. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and lounging with your girlfriend is, I think that that's positive too, okay. but fucking around on your phone, uh, to me is just, is like, it, it, it pollutes the sanctity of the bed, the headspace of the bed mm-hmm. in a way. Mm-hmm. And it turns it to me into another place of distraction. And, and, you know, when I'm looking at my phone, no matter what, it just makes me whether I realize it or not, it's making me more anxious. There's information that's flooding in. Mm-hmm. New, I go to the New York Times app. It's all fucking horrific headlines. Totally. New, America hits 5 million cases. Donald Trump is a white supremacist. Whatever. You mm-hmm. know, like all this shit. And I'm just like, God. I mean, that's not what I want before bed. No, totally, totally. I understand that. Um, but I will say that in general, I have way less anxiety than I used to even though it's COVID time, Mm -hmm. just because the pace of my life has slowed down so much Mm -hmm. that burning a little bit of time on the phone, which I actually don't even see as burning. I'm enjoying myself. um, I don't hate that. Fine. I get what you're saying and I agree. And I think that the mornings where I like get started early and I'm doing all my stuff, I feel fantastic. Right. So I think that's something worth trying to recreate for yeah. sure, but I'm not that upset. I'm definitely not of the Mark Wahlberg school of thought where you wake <laughs> up at 3 a.m. and you know Crazy. greet the fishermen on their way out and then <laughs> play 18 holes of golf in the dark and then get your workout. I'm not, it's not that, I, 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 don't get, I don't hop out of bed the minute my I wake up. I will also say I never need, an alarm never wakes me up anymore. I set an alarm. Same. It never wakes same, me dude, up. Same. I feel I'm like a little always child. up before same my alarm. Same time. Yeah. yeah. Same. Yeah. Crazy. Um, but like this morning, yeah, I, I set my alarm for 8.15. I woke up at 8, got out of bed at 8.10, and hopped in the shower, did my stuff, and then I went to Whole Foods and had all my groceries for the week and was back in the apartment before 9.00. That's great. So you're not going to eat out of the house at all once. Dude, I am on a save money kick. It's great. 
You know, I've been really bad in, since I've been back in the city. I need to get back on it. It requires much more discipline when you're in New York City, but yes. it is possible. I bought my coffee at Whole Foods for the week. I'm yeah. holding myself to that. I'm cooking all my dinners at home, mm-hmm. trying to eat lunches at home. Because in Maine, I do it, and it's like, well, what's the fucking difference? I know. No, dude, it's a good point. The difference is you have to get in a car to go spend money. Right. And that is somehow is easier. No, I'm saying... Easier to, like, exactly. So, like, because you're driving... You don't do it as much. You don't go... Like, going to pick up food's a pain in the ass. Right. Whereas, it's the same as going to the grocery store. Whereas here, going to the grocery store is more inconvenient than just going to pick up. And I think, like, you know, the cosmopolitan nature of New York City... Wait, leads to everyone saying, well, let's catch up. And what's our default catch up? It's drinks. Dinner and drinks, yes. Dinner and drinks, especially, you know, now. Whereas that should be, for most people, a special occasion. Oh, totally, totally. You know, not like, I don't want to cook tonight or whatever. Like, let's, there's yeah. a great restaurant on the corner. It's only $170. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's so expensive. I got to so. be better about that. Yeah. If you like that video, check out our channel where we have way more videos. Fucking, I just don't know how to do this. This is unbelievable. If you like that video, we have way more videos on our channel. Please like and subscribe. Turn on notifications if you want to know when there are new ones. Um, But if not, check them out and we appreciate it. Oops.